I shared from Rav Ashlag, and he says that many people are working to build the temple, right? To build Yerushalayim, Jerusalem. And he says that Jerusalem is the center energy of the entire world. Jerusalem is the gathering of all nations in the world can really unite and, re- and connect to that source of light called, called Yerushalayim. It's not a physical place. That's where the Holy Temple will be. But that's what everybody claimed that the temple was destroyed as well. Right? One time, uh, uh, twice, I'm saying. Now, those, those, those ideas, right, of the destruction of the temple, and now recently people want to see the rebuild Jerusalem. And uh, people actually creating a fund to build Jerusalem, right, you know. And so imagine even if someone said, you know what, I want to go and build the temple. I want to rebuild the temple the way it was. That will never happen. Why it will never happen, right? Because those people who will build Yerushalayim, we are people who actually have the vision that the temple is still there. That Yerushalayim, the Jerusalem is complete and filled with light. That the Holy Temple is like in its mightiness, standing there. And if we work and build something because, oh, I'm going to bring a brick because there's the brick is not there, right? You won't be able to complete that mission. The only way you can complete the mission is if you, and faster, right? Is when you realize it's already there. And you have the vision and you have the sight, you have the, the, the image of the whole temple before you build it. And, and that's such, a, such an important, important consciousness because, you know, a person who works from lack, I don't have, I need to go get it. It works in a reality after the tzimtzum. After the withdrawal of the light, now I have the illusion, the masach, I can't see, I see, I'm not sure I have it or I don't have it, you know. And a person who goes and connects through absolute fulfillment, absolute abundance, he connected to the reality of the endless. And doing something in the conscious of the endless, and do, or doing something from conscious of lack, right, there's a two different realities. Two separate realities. And that is here what Rav Ashtag says, you know, that that uh, uh, the I want is not because I don't have. I want from a place of abundance. I want from a place of absolute fulfillment. Fulfillment will draw more fulfillment. Abundance will draw more abundance. Lack will draw more lack. Lack will not draw a more desire. A desire is, 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 is awakened from fulfillment. It's a whole new ballgame. Because if someone is depressed, what they say, I'm missing, I'm missing, I'm missing, I'm missing. Why they can't get out of this depression again and again and again? Because they're constantly in a lack. But, you know, you see someone that is a constant, like, for, imagine you wake up in the morning, like, oh my God, so much goodness is, is being poured on us, yeah? So why should I ask for more? It's not about entitlement. It's about awakening more light. It's about, you know, desiring anything. Why you desire it? Because I don't have, or because they have, or because she have, I need to have what she have, or what they have. That has to be cut off. Because if you're focusing outside and all they have, what about me? You're connecting through that. And in that reality, <clears throat> there is no Zeran Pin, there is no uh, uh, Bina, there is absolute darkness of Malchut. This establishment we have today is an unbelievable consciousness. Our job is to have many, many people who have that consciousness. That before they are about to do something, it's not because they, they are in lack, or because I don't, or because they have and I don't have it. It's because of abundance of the light. It's because the fulfillment that I'm, 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 I'm connecting to the abundance. I'm connecting to the have, not, not to. 
I'm connected to the possible, not the, you know, not what, what uh, I'm connected to what it is, not what is not. I'm focusing on what good and not what bad. And from that place, you have a chance to draw more of the light of Chuchma. 